it up, I gotta put the new bells inside of the freezer. Back at the trap, I was dugging them people. Dugging the birds, sending out the meagles. All of my diamonds gonna bust out the meter. I'm dripping water, nigga, I will feed them. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna show you right quick what ingredients that I'm using. So basically, I got olive oil. I've got some Italian tomatoes. They're diced. I also have black pepper. Some salt. I got onion. I've got the garlic that's already peeled and stuff. I got the baby bella mushrooms, the beef, and of course, the peppers. So now after you have cut and cleaned your peppers, you put them in a pan, you cut and cleaned your mushrooms and your onions and your garlic. Now you're ready to add your olive oil to the pan and put your garlic in and let it get a little bit brown. And then you'll end up adding in the onions and the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So there's the mushrooms and the onions cooking in. And then we're going to wait for those to get a little bit browned up and cooked through and... In a second, you'll see that too. Any day now. <laughs> this was fun making this for you guys. Um, so there's the onions, peppers, and mushrooms, and garlic. Not peppers, I meant onions, mushrooms, and garlic. After that's done, I set it aside in a bowl and I started to cook my beef. I seasoned it with paprika, salt and pepper and garlic. And there we go. So there's the meat and that's the bowl that I set aside with the onions and mushrooms. Now you're going to go ahead and set your oven to 350 and let it get ready so there is the onions and the beef being combined because now the beef is done and then you're just gonna set that aside after that gets you know incorporated good and stuff mm -hmm. man that looks so good So now you're going to go ahead and cook the stewed uh, tomatoes, the Italian tomatoes. You're going to cook them down a little bit. And you just want them to be, you know, not, I'm not going to say soft because they're already soft. But um, you're going to let them get a little bit of heat to them and then you add them into the beef. Those really made a difference in this dish. It really did. They're super good. <laughs> Cooking up the tomatoes. I really spent a lot of time recording the tomatoes, I guess. <laughs> Hope you guys like tomatoes. So there is how you want them to be and um, once they're like that you're kind of just going to add them into the beef and mix it all together and make it incorporate real good. And I'll show you that in just a second. Also all the ingredients that I have listed and used it will be in the description box down below. Yeah, so they're about done. That's exactly how you want them to be. Just, just heat it up, bubbling everywhere. Yeah. So now you're going to add it to the beef, just like this. 
and then you're gonna stir it all together. Now, you're gonna take your mixture and you're gonna add it to each pepper. I did put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan and um, then I added all the beef into there. And then, here comes your mozzarella cheese, which I forgot to include in the beginning, but you're definitely gonna need it. So you add the cheese to each pepper. Awesome, sorry if you hear my baby. <laughs> So once you get done adding the cheese to each pepper, you're going to cover it with tin foil and you're going to add it to the oven for about 30 minutes at 350. There it goes and it's closing up. And there's my mashed potatoes, which is my side dish. They came out and then you're going to put them back in uncovered for 20 minutes. Now, since they're out, they are done. You could add more cheese, but I'm actually on a dairy-free diet, so I can't have that much cheese. Um, but yeah, there's your finished product. It's got stuffed pepper. It's got hamburger and bell pepper.